Today, we're gonna take a look at how to do voiceovers within Final Cut Pro X. Hey, what's up guys, this is Marcos, and this channel is all about helping you grow an audience and build your brand with video. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing down below. All right, so let's get into it. We're gonna talk about how to do voiceovers within Final Cut Pro X. This is probably a feature you might not be aware of, but if you do any kind of screencast or you do voiceover videos, this is very helpful. You probably won't use it all the time. I personally don't use it. I only use it whenever I make uh, any kind of mistakes with my wording in my videos, or let's say I forgot to mention something. I just go back and use this feature to add in that information. So without further ado, let's jump over to the computer and show you how to do this. So here's a project I recently worked on. This is a stop motion tutorial. And as you can see here, I'm talking to the camera, but then I jump into the screencast. Now uh, I recorded this with, with uh, QuickTime and I recorded the audio straight to the video. So there's no problem with that, except that here I, I forgot to mention something and I added this voiceover. And these two clips here, these are freeze frames actually. Uh, so I added two separate voiceovers uh, just below the freeze frame so no one can tell that I added, added this after the fact, after I had recorded the screencast. So let me show you how to do this because it's very useful whenever you're trying to hide your mistakes. So let's go to this portion right here. I hear I have a cut and I made that cut because I forgot to add something to this video. Now, what I can do is uh, I can zoom in here and add a freeze frame. So I just put my playhead on this portion of this uh, clip and I wanna go up top to edit, add freeze frame, and I just added a freeze frame right here. So I basically freeze a frame and I can extend this, make the duration longer or shorter. Uh, it depends on how long my voiceover is gonna be. So first of all, let's record this. Here's our playhead. We're gonna make sure this is where we're gonna start. Go up top to window, record voiceover, now we get this screen. Now I already named it first take. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. Now look at, take a look at this green bar. I wanna make sure I don't peak because if I talk too loud, it's gonna peak and you don't want that. So set the input gain. I have my Scarlett 2i2. You probably had headphones or maybe you're using the built-in microphone. I would highly recommend that you don't use this. Use a, uh, at least some headphones or something with a nice microphone. Now I set my input. On my Scarlett 2i2, I can't actually set it out up here, but if you did have headphones, you probably control this. Now, I like to leave the countdown to record on, and I'm gonna show you how that works in a little bit. I mute the project while working. I don't want this to play, like let's say I'm recording, and then I don't want this audio to play, so I'm muting the project. Uh, you can create auditions from takes. I don't actually use that feature, but it's pretty useful. Uh, so let's start recording something and show you how it works. So I'm just gonna say something about this uh, I don't know. It's something on top of my head. Let me hit record. Record. Three, two, one. You want to make sure you move the bag continuously. I hit stop. Uh, let's say I didn't like that take. I can always select it and click delete. And I'm going to do another take. And I, again, this countdown to record uh, goes over that three, two, one, which I like. It's a way for me to prepare. You want to make sure you move the bag continuously. Hit stop. Now, I like that take, so I'm going to keep that. Now, I'm going to trim this uh, to, uh, towards the voiceover. So, it's just going to expand the, the, I mean, the freeze frame is just going to expand to this voiceover. So, it's pretty seamless. So, if I play this, um, let's see, play. So, you right click and make a new com compound clip. You want to make sure you move the bag continuously. All right, so as you can see there, I can always trim this to make it even flow more seamlessly. You can do more, you can ex add extra freeze frames if you mess up in other parts of your, your screencast or your voiceover uh, videos. You can do a lot of damage just by using this feature. There you have it, that's how I do voiceovers. I use it primarily to hide mistakes or to add in information that I've missed. I hope you found this useful and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Also, if you have any questions or anything I didn't answer, I wasn't clear about, please drop them down in the comment section. That does it for today's video. I wanna thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.